Hi everyone. Uh, I want to do a quick video because I had a problem and I'm, and I'm sure other people are having the same thing. I have a Panasonic, a GF2. This is the camera. And it has a hot shoe. Here's the problem with it. I want to record high quality audio. But it has a hot shoe and it, and it says on the web that you can connect a microphone to it. Big deal. You can connect a microphone to it, but there's no audio input. So what the hell good is it? It's useless. So I'm looking around, looking around, looking around, and I see plenty of things that um, external microphones and this and that. So I said, well, let's see what I have at home since I'm a musician. I have other stuff. Maybe I could plug one thing into another. So here's what I had. A while ago on eBay, I bought this thing. It is a, um, it's like a, a microphone, it's a, it's a handle really, a stabilizer for the camera. It just screws into the bottom of the camera. It's pretty obvious really what it is. There's not much to it, right? Um, and I used it to hold, I have another, I have a, what I'm filming with now is a Panasonic ZS7, which I like a lot. Um, and I used that for filming, and it was easier because the camera's so small. Uh, I used this to hold a camera. So I said, well, how can I integrate this? So here's what I did. Uh, and you're going to need something like, you're going to have to start with something like this. So let's say we're starting with this, right? This is, as you know, is nothing more than a quarter inch bolt, okay? Now, I was lucky enough to have this whole bottom piece. I'm going to pop this off so you can see it. The bottom piece was already here for me. You're going to have to create something like this. But the guy got this from an eBay. It's really pretty simple if you're handy. This is just a quarter inch, a half, I'm sorry, half inch PVC pipe. On top of that, what he did was he stretched a, he, or he put a, a rubber bicycle handle grip. That's really all he did. Here, he added a quarter inch bolt and with a um, with a nut on the back to lock it in place. So when I got it from him, this was just a plain plug that he had. So I said, well, I don't know, maybe let me figure out how to do this. I drilled a hole through here. I went out and bought another bit, another nut, right? That's all this is is a quarter inch nut that I stuck through here, okay, popped it back in here, and I have this, I had this already. This is a zoom, it's called a zoom, it's the cheapest zoom recorder. It's a zoom H1. It's a stereo recorder. It records on a little card. It's light as a feather. Only weighs a couple of ounces. So it's really perfect for me. And the recordings are excellent. Really, really good. They're, they're really excellent. Um, as I said, the recorder is very light. You can see the, where this is going, right? So this all goes together. There's really not much to this. And you, you, get, you get two things here. You get a cool way to hold a camera which is very easy, it's very easy to use this, believe me, I've used this a lot um, with the grip. My wife will film stuff and she'll ask, she'll well, John, make sure you have the grip with you because it's easier to hold the camera and it really is. Um, when you're recording, you just want to make sure that you're not moving your hand around a lot because it's all going to get picked up on the mic. So just be be aware of that. It's a rubber grip. This particular one is a rubber grip. But be aware of that, that you don't want to be doing this kind of stuff a lot, right? So just kind of get get your grip, get ready, and start to record. The thing you want to do is make sure, because I've done this, make sure that you're recording and recording with a mic, because naturally now none of this stuff is synced up, right? So keep that in mind. Um, hit the record button on the mic, even if you record a little bit more then start recording with video. Then when you go back, I do everything in iMovie. So when you go back and edit the stuff in iMovie, you'll have to sync it up. But um, yeah, it's a little problematic, but it works. And you get really, you get terrific sound. The, um, the video from the GF2 is really good, but the sound is not that great. The, any of the Panasonic cameras are very susceptible to any kind of wind at all. 
Um, even though the cameras are wonderful, uh, I've done literally hundreds of videos with the ZS7. The uh, GF2 I've only had a little bit and I really bought it for depth of field more than anything and I'm going to swap out my Nikon 50mm lens uh, my prime lens and use that so I plan on doing more of that kind of stuff but I'm into it I like it I really enjoy it but the thing the real knockback for me was that it didn't have really good stereo sound and I wanted that uh, it has a stereo mic but mm, it's 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 really it's not that great this to me is a good workaround is it a little more work in what you guys would call, I don't call it post, but I guess in the end, yes, you have to splice, you have to edit in iMove, you have to put the sound and the video together. But the payoff is the sound is going to be fabulous because the sound from the H1, the I bought this H1 on uh, Amazon. Uh, I think they're about a hundred bucks. You could probably buy them used. You can maybe, if you want, you could buy a better one. Uh, an H4, I, I don't really know, H2, H3. This was fine for me. It, w it just did the job. What I like about it, it's, it's super light. It's really, really light. So altogether, I don't know what this weighs, but it, it doesn't weigh much. I could tell you that. Um, it's light. It, I could move around with it. And, you know, the, the kind of wacky thing is it, it's it, it kind of stable. It, it's it's easier to work with for me. I like it because I could kind of I could do the, I move around with it. I could work with it. So my whole thing is that it's it's cheap. If it doesn't work, there's no harm done. But give it a try. So you're talking about a half inch PVC pipe with a couple of nuts nuts and bolts, a couple of doodads stuck together. Give it a shot. It give you some ideas about how to do it, and hopefully it'll work for you. If it does. Drop me an email or make a comment or something, okay? Bye.